So let's briefly go through the procedure for how we run our generator on biogas. The biogas coming from this Pusheen Dragon, from this 10 cubic meter biodigester, fills up this Coleman air mattress. It's just a queen-sized air mattress that you get at any store like Walmart. That's where we got ours. And uh, that pipe then goes into an aquarium pump. This is a 20 watt aquarium pump. And then the aquarium pump is plugged in to a snorkel. Um, let me just get this in here for a second. They're just using rubber hoses. It's nothing fancy. And these are just the wrong size. So just sort of wedge it in here. That'll work. Um, that's going into a snorkel uh, that we got from U.S. Carburation in West Virginia. It costs about $200. It's a tri-fuel kit that enables your generator to run on gasoline, propane, natural gas, or in our case, biogas. It's really a quadra-fuel kit in our case. Um, it bolts on in about 15 minutes, just goes between the air filter and the carburetor, and your engine is ready. And then, because the biogas isn't under any pressure, I have to pump it, and since there's no electricity out here, I start, I plug this in to the generator, and I start the generator on gasoline, and then switch over to biogas, because that'll then, uh, once the engine's started, it'll start pumping the gas in. So now I put the fuel down um, so that it's flowing, and, um, and then I'm going to pull the cord. Another reason why it's good to start the engine on gasoline is because biogas is fairly wet gas, and it's not good with spark plugs, and you'll end up, uh, you know, breaking your cord more often than not starting pulling so many times for a pull start. So started on gasoline, small sacrifice, or started on any liquid fuel that you can. And once it's started, now the pump is running, so we're good with that. Then turn off the gasoline, and you'll hear it switch to biogas. You'll also see that it's smoky when it starts, but then once it switches to biogas, all the smoke is gone and so is the smell. So biogas is clean burning, turns into carbon dioxide and water vapor. It's a very safe gas to use, and it doesn't have any appreciable amounts of carbon monoxide. So in emergencies, people can use generators uh, in their garage in the winter to charge batteries to get through the night. You'll want some ventilation, of course, with carbon dioxide, trace amounts of, uh, of other things, but it's a very safe gas. So now we're running on biogas, and to prove that we're running on biogas, I'll just unplug the biogas, or actually I'll just turn off the valve here, uh, which is taking the gas from the mattress to here. So. during emergencies, like during the hurricane, we also use our biogas to run clean, smoke-free engines to generate electricity. If I turn off the gas, and you will see it turns off because that's biogas.